Hello! Good morning! Woo! <laughs> my little yodel has become like my little ritual to start the show. Oh, I hear I hear an echo. Is that me in the that background? That was me in the background. <laughs> Hey Jason, good Hi, morning. Hi beautiful, good morning. How are you? I am super fantastic. Yeah? Yes. Did you have fun yesterday? It was a great Monday. Tell them what we did, because oh I goodness. had so much I fun. I lost some Monday. Well, we worked all day. No, tell them about this. And then we celebrated by having Fun Day Monday, making slime with some of the most awesome kids in the neighborhood. Caitlin, Kelsey, Kenny, they came over and taught Jason and I how to make slime. All and, different kinds of slime. Oh my gosh, we had a slime factory in our kitchen. Crackly we still slime. have a slime factory. We have glitter that will probably last us for months, maybe even a year. Do you remember? It kind of reminded me of a few Christmases ago, we had Mrs. Miss Claus. Remember? <laughs> it reminded you of that too, didn't it? So yeah. we have Santa and Mrs. Claus come to our house every December. And like three years ago, Mrs. Claus came to our house and Glitter she Claus. started spreading cheer. It was Christmas cheer, but her cheer was a little poof. It was like a little poof bottle. It was like that little um, of the troll, the troll that farts glitter. <laughs> yes. And I was like poof, poof. Yes. And I was like, I was like, glitter is the is the thing that is the hardest to clean up in the world. <laughs> but who wants to dampen Mrs. Claus? Right. And who wants right? to dampen Christmas? And who? I you mean, can't monitor. Glitter's a fun Christmas thing. cheer, especially from Mrs. Claus. So yesterday though, Kelsey, Caitlin, and Kenny, they came over to teach Jason and I how to make slime. And I'm telling you, my first question to them was, why? Why make slime? Because this seems to be a really popular trend. And Caitlin had a great answer. It was the most perfect answer <laughs> I had ever and heard. Caitlin is 10? The first answer, Kelsey said, because it's fun. Well, yeah. Duh. Hello. Like, it's like, why do you do it? Why <laughs> would you even ask the question? It's fun. And yeah. Then, so that was the first answer. And then Caitlin and then breaks Caitlin, in and says, well, you know, if you ever get stressed or just need something to take your mind off things, then you have this to play with. <laughs> and it was like, hello. So you know what I was thinking? When I'm coaching clients or when people come to me and they say, you know, I they get sometimes in a doom loop, they're feeling like a victim, or they're they're saying, I'm stuck in my life, wah, wah, wah. I'm gonna say, have you made slime lately? And they're gonna say, why? I'm gonna say. Because it's fun. <laughs> go find Kelsey and Caitlin and Kenny and make yourself some slime. Get your 10 year old because self out and get have some fun, get rid of your stress and get your I, mind off of things. Right? Yes. But you know what? I think being around those 10 year, year olds brought out our 10 year old selves, which I really like the 10 year old Jason. I know, the, the 10 year old Jason had more hair on the top of his head. <laughs> I was noticing that when I came in, but it's, you know what? I don't mind. It's, it's all What good. were you like when you were 10? I was nerdy. No! I, I really was. Really? Yeah, I had, I mean, just freckles and long hair, and my mom dressed me in, like, I guess back then the shorts were really high, and tube, top, tube socks up to my knees or over my knees. Skinny. Really? Skinny. I was so skinny. I was skinny too. Until I graduated high school. I graduated high school at six two, a little over six two, 125 pounds. Oh, that's what I grabbed. I was 125 pounds. Well, it was. We were the same weight. I would have hated you because you would have been able to wear my jeans. 
I put, couldn't have worn your jeans. Okay. I, was, I, I had some long legs, but it was uh, in a big, I look like a, a, a lollipop. Really? I just had a big head on a stick. Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. I loved being 10. 10 is fifth grade, is that right? Yep. You know, in fifth grade, everyone in my class got the chicken pox, except for three of us. You didn't get so, it? So, well, I had had it when I was a baby. Oh. So, there oh. were only three of us that went to school that week. And then the teacher came down with the chicken pox, which is very, very dangerous when you yeah, get the, the chicken pox get. as an adult. Yeah. So, she ended up in the hospital. And then the substitute teacher ended up getting chicken pox. Don't so, these teachers know to wash their hands? I remember for a whole week, there was only three of us that went to school and the whole week, all we did, we made bubble letters on our trapple, trapper keepers. Trapple keepers. Tra <laughs> That's like the, the chicken <laughs> grillers. That's right. Trapple keepers. Uh, okay, so we have Camilo. Some of you have heard us talking about Camilo. Camilo helps us during the day. And when he first came to school, to work with us we said you know what we don't have a lot that we can compensate you with but we can sunshine we <laughs> we can teach you a lot of things so working with us is kind of like a mentorship it's like an internship. internship it's like and studying it, abroad as we grow you grow right, right. great way to looking at it it's a it's an education yes. in a box so, Milo, we call him Milo, hey, he started hey. his first vlog on YouTube. He started his first vlog, and I couldn't be more proud, could you? It's, and he's done a great job. It was like our child was dressing Go himself the for the first time, exactly. or going off to kindergarten, or... On his first date. Right? I felt so proud, but his Be careful, whole, don't get hurt. His vlog was about his family is from, his family has Cuban descent and they're all visiting Cuban right now. Cuban and Colombian. Colombian descent, I'm sorry. Colombian descent. And so they were, at, they were at a restaurant and they were all taking turns saying chicken grillers. Chicken yeah. grillers. And for some reason, I can't remember the other word. But his family couldn't say loaded. loaded chicken, chicken loaded grill. grillers. Yeah. Chicken loaded grillers. And for some reason, it kept coming out grillers, grillers. The L's and the R's were getting yeah, mixed up. And it keepers. was quite funny. So if you want to follow Camilo, it's Milo Co on YouTube. M I L O C O. Yes. Milo Co. Good morning, Chrissy. We just talked about your kids and how much fun it was. We need to have them back over to do a podcast. I know. We're thinking next month. You know what? <laughs> it caught me thinking, Jason. It really did. Because. I felt like you, it brought out an Uncle Jason vibe. Uncle Jason is great Jason. And so I was thinking maybe we should. Because I can send the, the kids, kids back. back. <laughs> like, so for, for like, some of you that are just tuning in for the first time, Jason and I do not have our own children. And so we love to steal the neighborhood kids children, neighborhood kids children, yeah. the neighbor's children. In fact, one night, do you remember our yeah. neighbor neighbor? One night it was like 11 o'clock at night and all of a sudden we hear a knock at the door and I look at Jason, I'm like, who would be coming over this late at night? I go answer the door, it's one of the neighborhood kids and they're like, Aunt Jana, Uncle Jason. And they are bawling, crying and they're in a fight with their parents. And so of course, the first thing out of their mouth is, don't tell my parents I'm here. So I say, okay, I won't tell your parents that you're here. In the meantime, Jason's over there texting the parents saying, hey, your child is over here. That was, that was good teamwork, don't you think? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I kind of feel like we've adopted the kids and we've kind of taken them under our wing until that night when that girl says to us, I mean, 
what's the worst, what's the worst thing, thing you've, ever, you've done? ever done? And we both looked at each other like, oh, how do Jesus. we answer this question? I rang the church bell to you, or bring the church bell before it was church time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky question. Because you don't want to tell them all the bad things we've Kirk done you. in our life, right? Well, you're... Well, you no. weren't any better. No. You said you load the dishwasher the wrong way. Well, you, you don't. You don't want to. <laughs> hey, kids have to learn on their own how far they can push the boundary. It's not our, especially our job as the as neighbor, aunt and uncle. as the neighbors. <laughs> Let me tell you what you should be doing. Let me tell you how far you can push it. No. Yeah, we rang the church bell too loud. We loaded the dishwasher incorrectly, and we missed curfew once. One time. Once. I was roaming this morning and I got stuck in the sprinklers. I saw that. Tater did too. Because <laughs> Tater will not leave your side. And so, I I just thought all this reclaimed water is mm. showering me. Do I smell like it? It smells so good. Yeah. We've been smelling vomit around the house. I know this sounds disgusting. We really should class it up a little bit, but there's some vomit somewhere in our house and we can't find it. He's pointing at our dog. We we can't quite pinpoint it. And I have a nose that usually can find it, but this time it's been a little bit it's all over. of an enigma. <laughs> and that's because our house is a total wreck. It's a total wreck. It and you know wreck. why? It's because we have decided to make this, 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 whatever this is. <laughs> it's a cowboy thing. <laughs> Every morning we come here and it started out pretending to be a morning show with Jana and Jason. And then it's becoming, it became a dream. It's fun. We need our people. But this weekend, it's becoming a reality. And so what I'm getting at is that this weekend we started taking our guest bedroom and we started making it into a studio and so now our house is a wreck and we can't find the vomit <laughs> but we're gonna keep looking help us find hey, the vomit help us find the vomit check us out on our podcast which is at 11 50 today at janashelfer.com thank you guys Life is fun with you. bye remember make some slime <laughs> bye bye <laughs>